Hey guys, welcome back to Rocket Science. Now today is an important day, because this is going to be my first crewed mission in Kerbal Space Program. I am using the super strong cargo rocket from my previous video, and I am changing it so now it can hold up to three Kerbals and turn them from low Kerbal low Kerb in orbit to Kerbal Kerb in soil safely. Now, I just finished building the rocket. It's not that hard. I just swapped the cargo bay for the crew module, added a parachute, heat shield, and it was pretty much done. So now we're just going to time warp to morning, which is a lot easier with the new 1.11 update. Enough talking. Here we are. We've launched. Now, this is... Well, you can you can notice that um, I have it pointed prograde, and I'm not really making any gimbal changes right now. What I did is I gimbaled just a bit, and I've done Kerbal Space Program for quite a while, so I know how much I need to gimbal, and then I want to get to maybe about 80 meters per second, I hit prograde, and then that will kind of give me, get me into a good gravity turn. So by now, all I'm, doing, all I'm really doing is moving the camera around and not having to do much else. So what I'm doing right now is I'm checking the map, let's see, 50 kilometers is what it is now. And look at the parachute. It's literally white. I'm going, what, 1,400 meters per second? Not that bad. Still, I'm surprised. I mean, I don't. I haven't seen any actual, like, you know, spaceships like Falcon 9 or Saturn 5 actually have that effect on them. So that's, I guess they don't accelerate that fast. Anyways, I've got my maneuver node now, so this should be pretty easy to do from here. Just like in the previous video, I just got to do my burn to get into orbit, and then I'll do my um, retrograde burn to get braced for re-entry, which will... We'll have to see how it goes. I haven't had any problems with re-entry in any of my other missions, but... Okay, we're not, we're, we don't need to worry about re-entry right now, because all we're doing right now is getting into orbit. So, this burn actually took me half a minute, but on here it should be a bit shorter, because of the way that I've sped up time. So, I pretty much just eyeballed it on the bottom left of my screen. I can see, like, my periapsis, apoapsis, and I kind of just eyeballed it. And here I am just checking our um, electricity. And it didn't even get to do a full orbit around the um, around Kerbin. Which, I, I eventually I'll do like a long stay. But this is more just like a little test mission of it. So what I'm doing here, just getting right to my notes. Since my burn is going to be very short. On here, it doesn't even take that like half a second to be done. But what I'm doing is I'm trying to give us a, bit, a little bit of a firework show. So I'm getting pointed anti-normal. So then once we separate, we kind of get rid of the module away from us. So we get, get kind of the fireworks idea, but it won't kill the Kerbals. I never had that problem on re-entry. Anyways, this is going to be the most fantastic view you'll ever see you can see the sun is just going to go right above the surface as we re-enter so this is going to be the best best re-entry i've ever had for a long time you can see the horizon come up and then right around now you see the sun kind of just glitch into existence and you can see that sunrise which just looks awesome from here because you can just see the sunrise, the horizon, the flames from re-entry and everything. It's awesome. Well, that kind of marks the end of our crewed mission, but it's not over yet. We got to deploy the parachute. It's already deployed, but we just got to wait until you get to about a thousand meters, and it deploys. So now we just need to coast down to the surface, and boom. 
what a mission this has been. Hope you guys liked it. Drop a like, subscribe. And shout out to Rodude for subscribing. But anyways, see you next time.